Should I be looking at you or the camera? Very good. Uh, look at me. Yeah, that's okay. Yeah. Brilliant. You're rolling? Yep. Ah, that's good. Cheers. Cheers. I remember the first time I met him, just, just being terrified of him. Uh, I just moved up uh, to, to what I sort of perceived to be the big smoke at the time. I was going around dropping CVs looking for a job and had heard a lot about this guy's bar. Chatted to him there, asked him for a job, so he gave him a CV, and he promptly said no. <laughs> and this would begin this uh, long period uh, of him repeatedly turning me down for, for jobs. I don't think I've ever been turned down for a job so many times in my life as by this guy. What he did do instead was uh, infuse me with a love of the Savoy, Gary Regan's Joy of Mythology, among others. Uh, you know, all the things a young bartender needs in his diet and filling. And for years, uh, I'd like pour over his old menus, which were these sort of grand uh, statements, and try and sort of recapture that style of magic we had. It really resonated with people. Uh, and it's one thing that sort of definitely inspired me is this idea of that when people come to a bar and when they order a cocktail, they are looking for an escape. I wanted to create a drink that very much ate his restrained style that reflected his inspired mastery of escaping from the cocktail. As a theme of this challenge of inspiration, I wanted the G-Bine Florezon really shine through, infusing it with some more cards and ingredients and hearts rather than pen by the flow over to the gym at this point. After beginning with a bracing rack of G-Vine and Floraison as a base, its grape spirit heart infused with delicate vine flowers, we followed with the herbal liquor of couple Aroma to transport the drinker to the of cognac. An inspired 